but in recognition of the importance of jobs in the many affected businesses at the heart of local communities. We launched a call for evidence in April on further actions to take to resolve those debts. As a result of that call for evidence, the Government now plans to introduce legislation to support the orderly resolution of these debts that have resulted from COVID-19 business closures. We will introduce legislation in this parliamentary session to establish a backstop so that where commercial negotiations between tenants and landlords are not successful, tenants and landlords go into binding arbitration. Until that legislation is on the statute book, existing measures will remain in place, including extending the current moratorium to protect commercial tenants from eviction to 25th March 2020, 22, 25th March 2022. To be clear, all tenants should start to pay rent again in accordance with the terms of their lease or as otherwise agreed with their landlord, as soon as restrictions are removed on their sector if they are not already doing so. We believe this strikes the right balance between protecting landlords and supporting those businesses that are most in need. Of course I welcome what the Chief Secretary has to say today on commercial evictions. But the truth is, if the Chancellor believed that this economic package was enough, he would be here announcing it himself. Because whatever this is, it is not doing whatever it takes to support British businesses and our economy. 